Malik did it. He did it. Here we go. Oh, boy. And we get into... That was kind of funny. We get into Let the Crush Speak on and Malik's going to throw us some questions. Before we do that, shout out to our people at Georgia State, man. Don't miss Georgia State in their second season at Georgia State Stadium. Yes. More information at GeorgiaStateSports.com. Also, follow them on Twitter at GSU Panthers. Malik, see, we can give you a Georgia State. All right, style, I like that. I like, like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Malik, we're six Let's questions, go. Let's man. go. Let's go. All right. All right. First question. Who had the most impressive week, Tua or Dwayne Haskins? Oh, I'm going to go Tua because he played a conference game. Dwayne Haskins was out there playing Tulane, Tulane. Yeah. Dwayne Haskins, we will find out a lot about you. Next Saturday, 7.30 in Happy Valley during the whiteout. Come on, it was Tulane. <laughs> it was yeah. Tulane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Texas A&M at least gave a fight to Clemson. and they. <laughs> it was Tulane. <laughs> Tua is very impressive right now. He's very impressive. He's going very impressive. doing what he got to do. Um, he makes Alabama tick. And it's it making it look like Texas A&M, which is a decent squad, look like they was a Division I AA star. Back in the day, they don't do the ways run away no more. But FCS. The FCS. So definitely two on the. What you got, man? All right. Who got exposed the most this week, Oklahoma or Virginia Tech? Ooh. You know what? I'm going to go Oklahoma. And the reason why I'm going to go Oklahoma, Oklahoma was at the crib. They were playing at home and almost got washed. I'm going Oklahoma. Shouldn't have never went to overtime, but, I mean, it is what it is. This was a bad look for the Big 12 because Oklahoma is the bell cow. Right. So I'm going to say Oklahoma got more exposed. Man, Virginia Tech got beat by <laughs> They lost the old Dominion. They got 49 put on a mace. Are you serious? <laughs> I just, I kept looking at that score like it was wrong. Like, yeah. I did too. I thought it was reverse. All right. right. Oh, do you mean you probably got no? I saw the tweets. I was like, what? <laughs> I saw the tweets. I was like, y'all got to be kidding. Look, Army went in there and put that offense. They wasn't ready for it. Like you said, they looking down yeah. the road. Yeah. But even at your worst. Come on, yeah, come on. You could yeah. get 49 points put on yeah, your Yeah, come baby. on, Virginia Tech. It was 28 21. I'd be like, all right, they squeaked by. Yeah. They put 49 points on them, mate. Hey, boy, they dialed it up, baby. And you said they quarterback through how much? 495. 495. Come on, Virginia Tech. Look, be better. That should be your new thing. Like, Army, be better. <laughs> what you got, Malik? All right. Is Georgia in more trouble than they think they are after a sloppy win? I'm going to say no. And the reason why I'm going to say no is because so much talent in Athens. Again, I just, I'm going to continue to say this. Chaney just don't know what he have offensively. Chaney needs to sit down. Maybe Kirby needs to sit down with Chaney. Listen. This is our identity. This is what we do. This is what I want to see. And then I think Georgia takes off. Not yet. And I know that's an in-between answer. I know you want to know it yet, but not yet. Because Georgia's been playing dominant. I mean, as much as, like you say, they're going to have a game where they're going to have to figure out what's going to work for them. Right. And right. I think they have they have figured out a few things. They know they got wide outs. They know they got a stacked backfield now. Because Swift has missed some games. And they still like, all right, bro, take some break. Yeah, get man, your, get dude, your we, man, we got we got yeah. plenty. And we got Holyfield son back there. We, yeah. we ready to go with that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, you know the game I'm really interested in. LSU. Let's see what they do. Yeah. They go to Death Valley. They go to Death Valley. So we gonna we see. will learn a lot about the Georgia Bulldogs when they right go right now. Them. They're fine. They can get yeah, away yeah, with Missouri fine. games they like fine. this. But they fine. We'll see. Yeah. What you got, man? All right. Uh, best running back in college football through four weeks. Ooh. This one is tough for me because teams don't run the ball. <laughs> teams do not run the ball. I, I like I like the kid at Penn State. Right. He's decent. Hard to say in the SEC because, again, everybody runs spread so much. Now, it should be Bryce Love, yeah. but Bryce Love is hurt. He ain't been playing the way he should be. Teams just don't run the football anymore these days. I, I won't say he's the best, Maceo, but he's meant the most. The kid from Kentucky. Yeah, Snail. Snail has meant yeah. the most to that yeah. team. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's the best in the league, but he's important. Um, I, I've looked at him. Um, Holyfield's been playing great, you know, but he ain't the best. He don't get enough touches. He ain't the best. But 
I just say Snell right now, not to say he's the best, because like you said, the give Penn State is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, because Kentucky's 4 0 because of him. Right. You know what? That's a very good yeah. point, Emmanuel Glade. Yeah. And that, that, you don't make a lot of good points, and when you do, <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make that, 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 no, that's a good one. <laughs> Because he, he hating on Clay, but that's a good point right there, man. Clay, nah, he right about Clay. <laughs> he, he right about Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Both of y'all, man. You move that question, right? Yeah. Both of y'all. <laughs> what you got, Malik? All right. Um, which game took you by surprise the most this week? You know what? This is this is gonna shock everybody. I thought Jordan Tech would put up a better fight against Clemson. He did say that. I told everybody this game yeah. would be closer than I, I figured. Last year, it rained. You know. Pretty, pretty conditions. Beautiful day. Pretty uniforms. Man, please. So, I, that, that game, that game truly shocked me. I, I honestly, and call me crazy, but I was shocked the game went that way. They almost beat him back to 1990, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, the game that shot me, of course, Oklahoma. I, I just, but you know, that offense is hard. You yeah. don't see a spray. I mean, that, that wishbone a lot, but yeah. You at home, yeah. you got this offense, you got these 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and the Army came up there and said, we got these small dudes, and we're, we're going to chop y'all We're going that way. Yeah. And they, they had it up. So that was my surprise. Uh, but, you know, shout out to Army. When we come back, man, we're going to get the last question from Malik, and then we jump into some other things. Malik, you ready? Yep. Hey, Dr. Phil here. You know, I help people solve difficult problems every day, but one problem has me stumped childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle with it. Luckily, the Feeding America network of local food banks collects surplus food, giving hope to hungry children and their families. But they need your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. When I was little, I didn't talk for a long time. I was sensitive to lights and sounds, so I built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. Sometimes, I did the same things over and over, until one day, I found out I had autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Listen, as a hiring manager, I've got to tell you, the best job candidate isn't always the typical candidate. Sometimes they're a grad of life. Meet the grads of life. Young adults of unique determination and experience. An ideal fit for your company in an entry-level position, internship, or mentorship. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're exactly who your company needs. Sometimes the best candidates aren't the ones you're used to. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by the Ad Council and gradsoflife.org. Sports Station Station Network. Crush. One of the most dominant home court. This is Crush. You can't touch me, you're not man enough. And that's all she wrote. Hands on, touchdown. Man, we here, man. We doing, let the crush speak on it. I got Malik, man, who's been around, what, seven months, eight months? Close, close around that time. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 I'm not liking this fade right now. <laughs> we live through your hell. <laughs> we still here. We live through your hell. Not just I'm going to do the Dion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bring it back. Make sure we come back. Hey, man, where your tape come from, man? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We're here with Malik, man. What you got for us? Ask some questions about the college football this weekend. What's the last question for the show? All right, last one. Which top five team is going to lose first? Ooh. Top five to be sure. Ooh, I'm gonna look real quick. You, 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 you know what, Malik? I, I I hate to say this, it's gonna be Clemson. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. against who? Ooh. I don't I don't know. Some listen, somebody. I just think somebody gonna clip. I I think the the changing of the guard at quarterback. I think at some point it's gonna trip him up. I I just truly believe it. And I'm and I'm a Trevor Lawrence fan. But I think him being a true freshman, it's going to be one of those nights, weather conditions, and a team just going to come after him. I like that one. Because these top five teams may not lose until they get in the playoffs, mm-hmm. something like that. Until they get the championship game. Yeah, because you look at that, Georgia, I mean, Alabama won, Georgia two, Clemson three, uh, Ohio State and Oklahoma. I, I, I'm not an Oklahoma fan. 
I think old boy is making business decisions out there, the quarterback. <laughs> I think he's sitting there like, what, you got, man? You got five million. I got five back, million dollars in my back pocket. You ain't even hit me too hard. But uh, I just don't. I think Oklahoma State might do him or, or somebody like that. I like the Clemson one because I'm not. I'm, I'm. I think Trevor needs a year. To see. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They, you know, they almost lost. They gave, almost gave it to Texas A&M. Yeah. Manuel Walker say uh, Ohio State. <sighs> I don't know who's going to beat them, though. Penn State? They play Penn State this weekend. Yeah, if, if they if they beat Penn State, I don't know who can beat them. I don't know who can beat them either. You know Michigan khaki pants ain't going to do it. <laughs> nah. He said they're going to nah. beat the khaki But see, <laughs> Ohio State, this will be one of them years that they lose to a Michigan State. I don't think they do that. I don't think so, but I don't think, I don't they, think do they will. But out of the five <laughs> teams, I think Oklahoma will be the first one to lose. Mm. Um, I just don't see. I think we that saw Florida so weak. Yeah, but they it's one of them things where a Texas Tech throw for 700 yards. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, go, it'll go to quadruple <laughs> overtime. <laughs> it's 72, 71. And, and they'd be like, forced to go for two. You can't like, get the two. Like, what, what just happened? Yeah. Know? But that's what they, uh, you know, I don't think Georgia Alabama lose. I think Georgia got a real test against LSU. That's gonna be that's gonna be a test. That's gonna be a, that's that's a test. test. That, that, that's gonna be a test. Alabama's got the same two teams they do. LSU, not Auburn. I don't, I don't see neither one of them beating Alabama. Mm-hmm. God I don't bless see neither one of them. Uh, but you know, and who's the other one? Clemson. I, I agree. With, uh, make sure that I can see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah I, sometimes you fall in love with the hype more than the actual play. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. And, you know you gotta be careful as a coach yeah. with that. And, and, and it just the scenarios. He, I mean, he just hadn't seen enough yet, and just teams are just going to come after him. I just, I just think that's what they're going to do. Why well, we got Malik here, man? Um, Malik, talk to us about Georgia State this weekend. <sighs> this is the, what happened, Malik. This, what my quarterback do? Oh my gosh, he fumbled. They fumbled. He fumbled three times. No, on the same right side. So they and, kept going and that co- way. Coach was. Coach said they got to get that something got to happen on, around that right that right tackle. Something got to happen. He fumbled three times. There is he only nothing. got it once. He recovered it once. There is nothing, and I say nothing worse than you know that that was your position and they kept running that way or they did something your way and you kept screwing up. You know what's crazy? And I don't, I don't, I don't know how much they practice. I'm about to go to Georgia State practice one day and see. We started practice. My quarterback had to do 300 mesh handoffs. Right. Like you have to listen. They got to become second nature. Was it fumble handoffs? What was the type of handoff? Was he running around? He was around running. He was running. Oh, oh so they just stripping him every time. Say, yeah. Oh, so he, he don't have no ball security. Yeah. Yeah. So did Penny Hart? What happened to Penny Hart? He, he, he had, I think he led the team in receiving, but I'm, but the, okay. it, it was really the, the defense was bad. The <sighs> run defense, the run defense, is it hasn't always been good. So they had they had two players um over 100 yards. So it only it only gets tougher. Yeah, yeah. they get that conference schedule. Yeah, well, the conference. But they now. they did they went three for three in the red zone. So okay. when they get in the red zone, they scoring. But you got to they got to get in there. They got to get in there. You said the big word win. Yeah, yeah, yeah win. Wow. I think Georgia State. Um, do, they, do they win six games? Hard to survive with with, with those kind of fumbles from yeah. your quarterback. Yeah. That's, yeah, But you know, Mace, we say that you know this is first year starting, and sometimes live by the guy that running. Die by the guy that's running. Yeah. He started running the ball. And, t- and you know, as a defense, you start saying, oh, he don't hold that ball tight. Oh, yeah. no doubt. Oh, oh, tackle, oh, tackle the ball. Oh, tackle the ball. Tackle the don't ball. even worry about him. Go, Go ahead that football, the ball. Yeah. Um, You know, KSU this weekend, hey, hey, Auto, Auto, cover your ears. You don't want to hear this. <laughs> they had to put 70 on Claude like that. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. Because yeah. Claude went to Twitter. They showed. Okay, they didn't make really. We're going to give them a really right now. <laughs> Claude went to Twitter. Clark said, Ha! We up 14-7 on <laughs> Kansas State. Next thing I know, it was 70 points being put on. Yeah. I get it. You was excited. But be just be, be humble. Be humble. Be humble, man. Be humble. Clark, we got never love for you. But y'all ran up into a bus all over there, man. <laughs> hey, I don't yeah, like you the, had to know they were gonna do that. I don't like the fact that uh Kennesaw State putting 113 points on HBCUs. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gotta keep doing that. You gotta find out what kind of what kind of check they uh <laughs> what kind of check they giving but out. But Kennesaw State look good. They play Sanford this week. Did I did I take Pittsburgh? I don't think I took. Pittsburgh. Man, we don't even want to talk about dog. This this week gonna be. Ugly. Oh my god! You didn't take Pittsburgh? I think I didn't. I think I t- I think I bought into Fitz Magic. I didn't. <laughs> Too early. Too early. The brother got a, he got birds going in that beard. I think man. I think when Fitz came out with with the with the Deshaun swag on, I think I was like, 
I'm all in on Fitz Magic. Make sure you said something earlier this week, earlier today about stay in your lane. Fitz, stay in your lane. Oh my! Put your proper clothes on, God. and, and, and you can get in the game. <laughs> Fitz Magic is no good. Uh, last one. Tech over under four games this year. <sighs> oh boy, you know I don't know much about Tech. So I Oh, I'm going to, ooh. That was meant for Macy. No. <laughs> he sees the, he's been in the flats. I'm going to say over. I'm going to say over. Oh, man. I'm going to say five. <laughs> I knew he was going to say five. I knew he was going to say five. I'm going to say five. I'm going to say five. They don't get bowl wins. eligible this year? No, nah, they don't get bowl eligible. And if they don't become bowl eligible, that's when the crazy talk will begin because they sunk a lot of money in facilities over there this year. Something tech normally they don't do. Hey, this hey man, this let's crush speak on brought to our people at wow. Georgia State Football. Don't miss Georgia State Football in their second season at Georgia State Stadium. More information at GeorgiaStateSports.com. Make sure you follow them also at GSU Panthers. When we come back, man, I just want to say something with my chest. I ain't said it in a long time. I got a chest code. I gotta get it out of there. Let's talk about it. just look down at your phone? You did it again, didn't you? You know, you're flying down the road in a three-ton hunk of steel, and a text takes your eyes off the road for an average of five seconds. At 55 miles per hour,